Environmental Technology Verification ETV consists in the verification of the performance of environmental technologies or in other words as the establishment or validation of environmental technology performance by qualified third parties based on test data generated through testing using established protocols or specific requirements. There are several ETV programs running all over the world, organized through government initiatives, with the Pioneer program being the one developed in the United States of America, followed by the Canadian ETV program. Other programs have run or are running in South Korea, Japan, Bangladesh, Denmark, France, Europe, Philippines and China. Each program has its own definitions, structure and procedures and programs are not always intercompatible. In 2007, an ETV International Working Group was formed to work on the convergence of the different programs towards mutual recognition, under the motto Verified Once, Verified Everywhere. The work of this group was at the origin of the request for drafting an ETV ISO standard. This concluded in the establishment of an ISO working group under Technical Committee 207 Environmental Management Sub Committee 4 Working Group 5 Environmental Technology Verification ISO TC 207 SC4 WG5 When concluded the ISO standard will have the number ISO NP 14034 The U.S. ETV program The Environmental Technology Verification ETV program of the Environmental Protection Agency EPA in the United States develops testing protocols and verifies the performance of innovative environmental technologies that can address problems that threaten human health or the natural environment. ETV was created to accelerate the entrance of new environmental technologies into the domestic and international marketplace by providing objective technology information on commercial-ready technologies. ETV is a voluntary program. Developers, vendors of environmental technologies are not required to participate in the program, nor are they required to seek verification. ETV does not pass or fail and does not rank technologies. All verification reports and statements are made publicly available on the ETV website. <laughs> Centers ETV has five centers which are called verification organizations. These verification centers are run through a cooperative agreement. Topic: Advanced Monitoring Systems Center. The center verifies the performance of commercial ready technologies that monitor contaminants and natural species in air, water, and soil. The center tests both field portable and stationary monitors, as well as innovative technologies that can be used to describe the environment site characterization. <laughs> Air Pollution Control Technology Center This center verifies commercial-ready technologies that control stationary and mobile air pollution sources, and mitigate the effects of indoor air pollutants. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking Water Systems Center This center verifies the performance of commercial-ready drinking water treatment systems for use in small communities, or individual homes and businesses. <laughs> Greenhouse Gas Technology Center This center verifies the performance of commercial-ready technologies that produce, mitigate, monitor, or sequester greenhouse gas emissions. <laughs> Water Quality Protection Center 
This center verifies the performance of commercial-ready technologies that protect groundwater and surface waters from contamination. Topic: Environmental and Sustainable Technology Technology Verifications (ESTE). A component of ETV which was added in 2005 to address priority environmental technology categories for meeting the US EPA needs for credible performance information. Priority is given to technologies that can address high-risk environmental problems. Other topical efforts are listed below. Topic ETV accomplishments, impacts, and outcomes ETV has verified over 400 technologies and developed more than 90 protocols. A survey of participating vendors completed in 2001 showed overwhelming support for the ETV program. Responses indicated that 73% of the vendors were using ETV information in product marketing, and 92% of those surveyed responded that they would recommend ETV to other vendors. In 2006, EPA published a two-volume set of case studies which document actual and projected outcomes from verifications of technologies in 15 technology categories ETV Program Case Studies Volume 1 EPA, 600, R06, 001 and ETV Program Case Studies Volume 2 EPA, 600, R06, 082. An Association of State Drinking Water Administrators ASDWA survey showed that 34 states recognize and use ETV reports. ASDWA and its members rely heavily on these evaluations to support the use of new technologies and products in the drinking water industry. Designating a product or technology as ETV, verified, does not mean a given technology reduces every emission, has no drawbacks, or outperforms solutions not on the verified list. Designating a product or technology as verified means that a given technology produced X outcome, when tested according to a specific protocol. Topic verified diesel emission reduction technologies and their outcomes Biodiesel, reduced inorganic soot carbon emissions, increased NOx emissions, increased organic carbon SOF, VOC, emissions. Diesel particulate filter, various manufacturers, reduces TPM, does not address NOx. Diesel oxidation catalyst various manufacturers, reduces TPM, does not address NOx. Clean diesel technologies fuel-borne catalyst, potential fine metallic emissions and potential resulting health effects, need PM filter, minimal NOx reduction. Purinox, water, diesel fuel emulsion, PM, HC, CO emissions can increase as a result of tuning to compensate for decreased power only summer blend verified Envirofuels diesel fuel catalyzer, verified on Tier 0 locomotive engine, verification report specifies an increase in total particulate TPM emissions on the treated fuel, as compared to the baseline fuel, even though the gaseous emissions and visible smoke opacity decreased significantly. Envirofuel's diesel fuel catalyzer showed a verified fuel consumption reduction of 5% during line haul duty, but the percent of error was plus 4%, and under the heaviest load, there was no reading given for fuel consumption reduction. The Envirofuels verification report indicates that TPM increased as little as 40%, and as much as 170%. Envirofuels diesel fuel catalyzer, while verified, actually increased TPM emissions, and showed what amounts to an inconclusive result for fuel use reduction. Topic. Composition of total diesel particulate matter and the relation to smoke opacity The composition of TPM total diesel particulate matter is the sum of dry particulates and 
wet particulates. Dry particulate emissions are also known as inorganic soot, black carbon, or elemental carbon. Wet particulates are also known as organic carbon, soluble organic fractions (SOFs), and volatile organic compounds (VOX). The exact ratio of wet to dry Diesel particulate matter will vary by engine load, duty cycle, fuel composition and specification, and engine tuning. An opacity reading is a measurement of the level of visible inorganic carbon, also known as soot. Opacity measurements cannot detect organic carbon emissions, VOC, SOF emissions, or NOx emissions. Specialized instrumentation is required to determine organic carbon levels, and to detect other unseen particulates. When used in conjunction with an opacity meter, the technician can detect for example, an increase in TPM, and detect a decrease in visible smoke opacity emissions. Function as a neutral clearinghouse The ETV verification program and other verification pathways publish the verification reports, technology options charts, and technical summaries, once testing has been completed. The ETV testing facility will issue press releases on behalf of the technology vendor, upon completion of testing. The ETV verification program reports all outcomes, and leaves the ultimate decision regarding the suitability and applicability of a given technology to the discretion of the end user. Additional research may be necessary in order to adequately address specific situations. Disclaimers <laughs> 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 By verify, ETV means to establish the performance of a technology, i.e., confirm, corroborate, substantiate, validate. ETV verification does not imply approval, certification, or designation by EPA, but rather provides a quantitative assessment of the performance of a technology under specific, predetermined criteria or protocols and adequate data quality assurance procedures. The VDRP verification program evaluates technologies to support their use in the market while providing customers with confidence that verified technologies will provide emission reductions as listed. This verification process evaluates the emission reduction performance of retrofit technologies, including their durability, and identifies engine operating criteria and conditions that must exist for these technologies to achieve those reductions. Mention of commercial product names does not imply endorsement or recommendation. ETV in Europe ETV has been developed in different European countries as part of government initiatives and or as part of funded research projects. Research projects included Testnet, Promote, Air ETV, Tritech ETV and Advance ETV. Formal programs and initiatives took place in Denmark with the Danish Centre for Environmental Technology Verification DANETV, the Nordic countries, including Denmark, Sweden, Finland and Norway, with the Nordic Environmental Technology Verification project, in France with the French ETV programme and in a partnership between Denmark, the Netherlands and Germany with the Verification of Environmental Technologies for Agricultural Production Vera. The European Union launched in 2011 an ETV pilot programme with the support from seven EU member states, Belgium, Czech Republic, Denmark, Finland, France, Poland and United Kingdom. This initiative was initially prepared under the Environmental Technologies Action Plan from the European Commission and was then followed under the Eco Innovation Plan. Topic. 
The European Union ETV pilot program Environmental Technology Verification ETV, is a new tool to help innovative environmental technologies reach the market. Claims about the performance of innovative environmental technologies can be verified by qualified third parties called verification bodies. The statement of verification delivered at the end of the ETV process can be used as evidence that the claims made about the innovation are both credible and scientifically sound. With proof of performance credibly assured, innovations can expect an easier market access and or a larger market share and the technological risk is reduced for technology purchasers. ETV in the UK Under the EU ETV pilot programme, there are four verification bodies The European Marine Energy Centre, EMEC ETV Brie Global National Physical Laboratory NPL, Water Research Centre WRC Topic: The Danish ETV program, DANETV. Topic: The French ETV program. Topic: The Canadian ETV program. Topic: The Japanese ETV program. Equals equals the Philippine ETV program.